okay 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 today today welcome 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 uh, welcome my name is dg6 and welcome six to graphics uh today we are going to see a new thing uh, i'm going to introduce the new thing but um we are still continuing with our complete inventory management system and i am I am introducing this thing because some of people are demanding this uh, uh, this application. So we are going to check about what to generate a barcode and a QR code online. We will use a couple of APIs and uh, of course the uh, uh, free APIs. So uh, I am going to show you here uh, what's uh, uh, that application look like this is my application uh, it is called the qr code and the barcode generator so you see here i have a qr code and you see here i have a barcode when i press next then you see it is fetching qr code because I, uh, I have no internet here that's why you see it is still fetching the qr code so we are going to build this one uh, in, uh, in today so you see unable to download the, the barcode because the internet is up so we are going to check this one so bear with me now and if you are anyone please subscribe like and comment and if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you very much let us continue building this application so first of all we are going to open our microsoft office access i am going to open it then i will create a new branch database and i will call it a is a qr code qr code and barcode barcode generator okay so now we have this one then you will fetch the place where to put this application i am going to put into my e drive here and i will go to check here to my app then i will save this here then i will create the application i know this step you know uh, many people know these steps uh, unless that you have no any uh, introduction or basics of for microsoft access so here we are into tables so we are going to create a table we must have one table because we must preserve those the qr code and the barcode when we uh, in offline we can access it in offline but when we need to generate a new one, we can connect to the internet and they generate a new one. So that's why. So that's why we have we must have the table here. So I am going to create a table. I'm going to table design. Then I'm going to create uh, this. Uh, what I'm writing here, it is the sample. So you can write the field as you want according to you. So here we type the product product ID. Okay, the product ID, uh, and then this will be auto number okay then here i will type the product name then it will be short text and here i will type the brand name short text then here i will type barcode barcode so this will be numbers we limit this to numbers then i will type manufacturer 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 then it will be the short text here i will type manufacturer Manufacture date. Okay, this will be date and time. Then here we type o XP date. Then here will be date and time. Okay. Then here we have location, uh, short text, and address. It will be short text. So this is our table now. We will save this table as um product T. Okay, so we have a table, we set this as a primary key, uh, the product ID. So remember, we have one table, so our table will be look like this. When we open it, we'll be having look like this, okay? So this is our table. So now, the other thing, we are going to build a form. Okay, we are going to build a form here to design a form. Well, first of all, I am going to create a form here, the uh, blank form. Okay, the blank form. So then I will go to design view. Okay, from design view, then I will expand it up here, I think will be better and up to here then uh, i'll go to properties here then uh, mm, yeah we set thing here okay auto size yes auto center yes and the border style is sizable okay we make it to dialog or thin okay record selector no uh, navigation bar no okay then here scroll bar no either okay control box okay but uh, we must only have the the close maxi close box okay none oxy close button yes that's so then here uh, we come to this one pop up record yes then 
is model now then let us save this one as a main form main form okay here now we have the form so let us check this one okay let us decrease the okay let us decrease here up to here then increase here a little like this i think so small just so small let's increase to here yes so we are going to uh uh to to uh decorate our form so our form will be look like this okay it will look like this and uh, we don't have to have a header so we are going to uh, color here i'm going to pick a color uh, just this color but i don't feel this is better so i'm going to more here then here i will start uh decorating choosing the the best color that you want okay choosing the best color uh, one here yeah, will be like this somehow okay let me see yeah this is good i think this is good okay so let me, let me save then i will drag here um, really icon so i will use the picture icon picture 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 this one then i will drag here first then i'll go to my uh disk here to fetch for what is what it is here then I'll go to my disk here to fetch this one. Okay, here yeah. I go to my icon. Where is my icon here? Then I will pick up this icon and here now we have the icon. So I will leave the padding a uh, little padding here so it can look better. Then I will go to uh, take this a uh, label. Then I will drag here. Then I will write a. Uh, uh, qr code qr code and bar code generator okay see uh then i will do like this increase font increase it to uh, uh here okay this one then i will make this bold and the color will be white i think so okay we see here in this picture let me make it be uh, small here i will put this one here then i uh, make another bar uh, another row something here down then a uh, software from uh, six graphics yes the software from six graphics then i make this here and uh, do this and color white okay and font yeah let me leave the font like this yes uh, 18 be better so okay let me change the the, the title the this picture okay then i click here then i come to uh format then a picture then i'll double click i'll click this dot 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 then i'll find the the exact 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 picture like this so see it look better yes then here then here okay let us see see it is looking better okay it's looking better so now um let me increase this because i have expanded i will scale the my screen so as you can see so it's look better now okay so uh we are going to create another form but uh, we are going to create another form okay we're going to create another form so we are going to create another form just go create then blank form then you go to design view then i have this form here uh, this form we have uh let me uh make it open center okay sizable okay make it sizable scroll bars no neither control box okay okay neither no put it no then split form size auto then in pop-up we live with it is but we can make it pop up because you want to see uh if it's looking good and this will be the uh uh the product product form okay this is the product form so we have two form now and this will remain as it let me remove this uh what 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 uh navigation and this one. uh max and neo and this one then none okay we see the form so the our form will look like this so this little this okay so uh, like this yes so here now we are going to unload and uh first of all we put uh something here we put the uh the, the we change we change first first we change the color 
okay you change the color uh into uh, not a white into something white uh, i think something like white this is white white background this is uh has percent none yeah that's yes like this okay then you are going to put here the label and the type product information product information the font will be this one then will be bold like this one you do this one here okay then you leave the padding a uh, little padding a little, little padding here like this one and we are going to see check it check check it like this product information but this color it is more 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 so we are going to make this color to be like uh i see i see yes this will be yes like this then uh we are going to uh add the low source of this we will add the product c so we are going to that and the low source we add the product t then you are going to uh, add existing fields then you will drag this whole thing okay all this okay so i am going to mark this one and layout equal to oh no 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 equal to okay. layout tuck day then i put this one here and increase like this uh, like this then i mark this one increase but increase up to here then i will make this to be uh bold okay and i will type this product name uh, code manufacturing date expert dedication and so on then i will make this to align uh to the center align to the center okay make this 12 and here make this 12 then i will make this well this um text box then a format and the uh, style here uh, uh style here special effect okay then i choose just world and like here we look like this you see it's look better eh? better look better but you, you must decrease this okay let's decrease this thing here reels till here okay so when you see the form now look better 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 then uh, here down we'll put the button okay here down here you put the we'll put some buttons so i grab this button here and drag here i cancel this one then i make this button b to fill this line and up to here yes then i'll type this uh, maybe previous previous review previous copy paste then uh, this one here but what i need is to put some uh icon so i'll choose this one then uh let me first put the color here okay i put in this color this one and what this uh, this color this color this color this one then i'm going to uh put the color i could white the this to white then i'll go here i'll go here and in the picture caption then i'll go choose the picture here yeah the picture then i'll blouse then i'll leave, remove this bt maps and icons i choose all files then i'll go to my files and icons i'm fetching these icons then i'll try to check the previous icon where the previous icon this one then i select this one okay then we have the icon now okay then here now i'm going to check the other icon okay then i move this uh all file is next check for the next next icon next the next this one then we have the next icon i will arrange this one to bottom or align bottom like this one then i will copy paste arrange this one here paste and paste so here we have uh no uh, no color no picture and here no picture yes no picture and here no picture okay no picture then here i will type new new then here i will type uh save then here i will type delete so i will make this thing big 
up to yes like this and this so also make this be bold like this and arrange this according to this one okay let me arrange bottom align bottom and let's do this yeah and arrange again okay align bottom so now we have this uh let me go back to here okay let me remove this uh you know this one then you see what we have here okay, this one uh, this is the uh delete save new then the previous next okay i'll put the name of these patterns then this is cmd cmd uh previous previous then this one is cmd next cmd next and this one is cmd cmd new and this one is cmd cmd save and this one is cmd delete okay so now we have named the buttons so we are going to add another button uh we are going to add something here above we are going to add the what the this thing here in form design we are going to check for the web uh with the browser then we are drag here okay we are going to drag here this is the web browser so it's uh we can cancel this one later we we'll check it then he, uh and the color leave as it is but we we'll move um we we'll move format shape transparent okay then he, um transparent background color is dark yes the dark special flat then that's good then he also we are copying this one oh no no Zage copy then he paste we are pasting this one down here okay here but we we'll make this one narrow because this will be for uh for the for the barcode okay maybe for the barcode and this for the uh yes like this then here we we'll put the label here we we'll put the label this is uh, let us name this one web web qr and this is web web uh bar code okay then we'll put some buttons here so i copy this pattern copy paste then i move this one up to here so first of all we'll put this button down here paste then we Put this here then he paste put this here then he change the color uh, so it's put uh, something to be like oh yeah then this one is maybe i'm gonna put the gate qr okay then here i put uh print then here i put pdf pdf okay then this is cmd cmd print and this one is cmd qr cmd qr and this is cmd cmd pdf PDF. then i will put here some uh, an, a word and a like this yeah. then i will put here some let me let me see what is look like see it's uh it has nothing to fetch that's why you see something like this but here i can uh let me let me remove those uh, uh words what do do it uh, scroll bars auto top and they are uh, scroll bars uh, no okay then here scroll bars no okay so it's, you can only have this thing here yeah? you see it has nothing to do okay but make this happen here let me drag this up to here okay then up to here so we will make it better but for now what you see is what we made okay let me drag this uh here the center then i'll drag here a label okay this is a label track here the label and the i will type with maybe uh fetching uh, bar o qr code i can i can i can uh i can put this in the code but for for demonstration here it, uh, it is enough to show you this then i the color it is white and i make this one to be like uh, this one this color and uh, put the dot here okay okay so this is label uh, uh name of the label lbl uh fetching okay so we have this label so uh, later on uh we will have we will have uh, this we want this one to be here like this to be here and to be in front let's position in front okay 
and this uh, uh, to expand to here you see you mark this one then you move down like this so we want the, the form to be to look like this then after this okay you see here and uh, you see this one you see okay then uh, we are going to make this one better okay we move uh let us remove this margin form margin equal to transparent that's good then you see to be look like this then uh i am going to to make uh to combine this form and this one first of all unload uh, we want to, to this form to be appeared there so we open this form in design view main form in design view like this one then we drag this form here so dragging we delete this one this name then we drag the form here we want the form to be here uh to be side yes here and we check the form where it ends yeah, move this here then we remove the, the format remove uh lines build this margin then we leave this to here like this and here okay see our form look like this okay so uh i am going to put something here uh you must have the textbox here to show how many products we have in a system okay this is registered product registered registered product registered product then this will be unbound and will be cow will be um uh, this will represent a number will be the number so here it will be uh, uh transparent and we put the same color as this one and here will be white and we will do the to eight uh, and put this board and uh, okay yes, so oh, no not eight be nine no we put uh, this one and expand this one uh move this one to here and here yeah see so we've been having this one let me uh put this one to here yes then down here we'll be having the uh another okay let me first we we'll put later so the good thing is this one so we have now a uh, designed our form and the uh the work remain here it's a logarithm to uh to have uh, the code behind the the forms and the code behind the print qr code pdf and this maneuver for fetching the qr code so bear with me uh let us meet to another tutorial this is tutorial one for the QR code and the barcode. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'm here open to see your suggestions. And if you have any convenience, please just comment down there. We'll be in touch. Meditary. Thank you.